Hi, good day. This is Ken Lau. Today I will write share with you how to use unique count. Well, we have a data here, and um, if we take a look at here, right? Uh, we uh, we want to know uh, in the particular state how many customers do we have, right? So we can do a, a sorting. Let's go here and sort, sort it out. Well, um, you take a look at here, right? This jaw hall, right? We have, uh, do we have two customer in this line? No. It's just that it shows that we have uh, two transactions for a different brand, but we really have only one customer. So this is called a unique count. If it is a normal count, this is considered as two count. But unique count will be like this. So uh, one way you can do is that you can copy this out and you paste it here. And you go to the data tab. You just remove things, right? And then, right, uh, you kind of like selecting this all, right? My data has a header. And then click OK. And you gotta know that uh, well, actually, Joe, we have only uh, nine 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 customer right in the Joe state. P thing we have that. So that is how you do that uh, unit count, right? And another way you you can do so is that. You can do it in pivot table, uh, start from Excel 2013 version. You can go to the insert tab, pivot table, and make sure you choose this add this data to data model. And then we go to the new worksheet. And uh, much the same right, states right here, and the customer died right there. Now, this is the normal count. How do you turn this into a distinct power is that you right click on this value field and then you choose value field setting and over here you choose uh, distinct count. Yes, that's it. Distinct count and click OK. Uh, you got it. That's how you use distinct count. Thank you.